What up, YouTube? It's your boy Ghost. I'm uh, coming to you from inside my truck. I know it's been a long time since I dropped a video in my truck. A real long time. I don't even remember the last video I made. I have to go back and look on my YouTube channel. But uh, I'm making this video today. This video is called Church. So I'm making this because, you know, I've been noticing all the, the, um, fuckery as I can put it has been going on on YouTube and you know Facebook um, all that uh, what else Zello and there's a whole lot of drama that's been going on for no specific reason everybody's upset with everybody everybody's mad about something and it's just man I honestly sit back and laugh about it because it's like I have so much going on in my personal life that I'm just like man every time I look up it's drama you know it's drama in the world it's like man people need to start looking at the positives that's going on in their own life and focus on it because a lot of people lately have been focused on all this negative energy and to me it's like you know when you focus when you take all these negative vibrations and you know that's all you really subject yourself to daily then I mean your whole life turns negative and it, it just has a, a negative result for everything and it's like I feel like you know people need to support those who support you and it's like yeah you know people are supposed to pay homage to those who help them along the way with YouTube and stuff like that but I mean it's human nature when people's egos get in the way, they forget, you know? It is what it is. And it's like, I feel like a lot of egos have gotten in the way of all the positivity that's, you know, been going on. And anybody that knows me knows, like, I'm all about positivity. Because it's like, I didn't been through hell and back. I didn't dance with the devil and all that. And uh, if it wasn't for me staying positive, Man, I wouldn't have been able to get to where I'm at today. So, I mean, whew, man, crazy. And it's like, you know, everybody in this industry came up from someone else. Because, I mean, Sinister helped get me out there when I picked him up the day in my Range Rover. I mean, I, I, me and Sinister talked. We were cool. And it's like, you know after that day I was like you know what let me you know drop some videos so people can get an understanding of you know what I'm trying to do in this industry and I can tell my story and that's really you know what I've been doing my story's been crazy I sit back and look at my videos and I'm like damn I went through all that and it's like you know if you really pay attention to my videos they kind of tell a story about you know my whole experience in this industry from you know um, UPS to Snyder to uh, divorce to you know losing everything that I worked my ass off for from when I was 16 until now to you know having to get it all back and start over from scratch that's a hard thing to do that's what I learned I thought it was gonna be easy that's a lie and it's like you know sinister um, I know Big Cat I actually talked to him um, before, you know, I really knew what I wanted to do in this industry. I, you know, was just asking people questions. Um, and then it came up to, who else was it? E, E the Trucker. He stopped making videos after I think uh, he got hurt or something with Swift. But he's the real reason, like, you know, I really watch YouTube was because of him. I mean, I, uh... I was watching his videos because we both were from SoCal and he dropped videos talking about how to pass the uh, test at the DMV in San Bernardino. So he was really the main person I really watched and then I think I ran across BitCat by accident from actually from Facebook. And then uh, Sinister of course, I saw him and then uh, I really didn't know who Cas Casanova was until I think I started dropping my videos at Snyder and people were telling me to talk to him. 
which I mean to this day I mean if I would have talked to him before any of this when I basically had started at UPS and I bought them trucks I probably wouldn't be making this video right now I would be sitting on an island smoking a uh, uh, big cigar and chilling and I probably wouldn't have been married either <laughs> but nah, um, yeah like I linked up with him and then uh, I was actually, you know, really testing the board out to see what the East Coast was like on the choice board, and that's when I ran into, you know, me and him actually linked up and made a video together. But yeah, and then everybody else after that, I mean, I just slowly started, you know, meeting people on YouTube and, well, Tamara too. I met Tamara too, I think right after um, Casanova. And Tamara, you know, she was like, she's like a mom to me. She's like, like, I don't know, whenever I talk to her, she reminds me of my mom. But, like, yeah, I mean, when it comes to, you know, just people, everybody, you know, everybody came up and everybody helped everybody out when it came to making YouTube videos. Honestly. And, um, uh, I think, uh, that's my mom. Oh, she hung up. But, yeah, and it's like, you know, a lot of people, you know, if you're going to make YouTube videos, people want to see progression. People want to see progress in this industry. That's what really, you know, will get you far. Not only on YouTube, but in life. Just being able to sit back, look at your videos from, you know, when you first got into it until now and seeing how much you've progressed. That, to me, is like genuine quality work. That, to me, is, you know, you actually dropping stuff. Yeah. Amen, Kelly. Amen. But, um, yeah, it's like, you know, people want to see progression. They want to see progress. A lot of people, you know, get on here and talk. You know, they, you know, or talk, give their opinion on things. People also want to see progression. And a lot of people need to humble themselves. You know, people get on here and they get a few subscribers and they basically just let it go to their head. Honestly, I didn't even know how many subscribers I had until recently I looked. But I never really paid attention to it because, you know, I'm on YouTube to tell my story. I'm not on here for subscribers and likes and stuff like that. I'm on here to basically give you an insight of my life and the wild ride I've been on. And, I mean, that's really it. And when it comes to dealing with haters, ah, uh, F them. That's all I got to say. Because, I mean, people, no matter what you do in life, people are going to hate. They are going to hate regardless. They're going to hate the fact that, you know, because they hate themselves. They're mad because they're not where you are in life. So they hate that. And if you don't have haters, then, I mean, you're not buzzing. So when you have hatred and haters, that means that, you know, hey, you're doing something right in life. So it is what it is. And it's like, you know, all the little racist stuff that goes on who pays attention to that that's nobody got time for that nobody got time to respond to it just delete it because i mean i've seen it i just delete it stupid because it's like you know people are gonna hate it's like i was on a cruise do i really care about haters no because them haters aren't doing what i'm doing so i'm gonna keep doing what i'm doing so yeah i mean I don't know, that's just my take on things, you know, I, after going through everything I've been through, I have a whole different outlook on life now, it's like, you know, and it's just where I'm at in life, I mean, I just want to enjoy life and live, honestly, because tomorrow is not promised, with all this stuff going on in the world, I told myself, everybody can focus on all the negative, I'm going to stay positive, because if everybody else thinks the world is ending, that's good. I mean, that's on them. I don't think the world's ending. I mean, to me, I'm living. I'm living life, and I'm enjoying it. And my life is not over until, you know, the good Lord decides to take me. But until then, I'm going to live life and just stay positive. When you keep positive vibrations around you, all sorts of doors open. Trust me, they do. So, yeah, it's your boy Ghost. I'm about to uh, log off of here. I think I didn't talk to everybody's ear off. Uh, be on the lookout. I'm about to drop more videos. I'm going to try to drop some tonight since, you know, Pilot got this new Wi-Fi that's actually off the chain. This is better than my house Wi-Fi. 
So I'm gonna try to, you know, drop my uh, my recap on running my own authority and a few more videos tonight. So uh, love, peace, prosperity. It's your boy Ghost. This is my segment of church.